The other factor in creating a long-lasting light that doesn't burn up is the glass bulb. And Paul Doherty of the Exploratorium can prove it. This is a replica of a bulb from 1900, and it uses a carbon filament. Now, when you put electricity through the carbon, it glows incandescent, makes light, but it doesn't melt, and that's the key. Incandescence is the emission of light from something hot. Carbon and tungsten have the strongest heat resistance of all elements. Most modern bulbs use tungsten filaments because at temperatures over 1800 degrees, they are much more durable. What's the role of the bulb? These lights all have this case around them. And that case, the bulb, protects the hot filament from the oxygen in the air. Creating an oxygen-free zone within the bulb is the key to incandescent light. This is what's inside. It's the filament we saw in the clear glass bulb earlier. And when I put electric current through it and it heats up, the oxygen in the air will burn it. So here it goes. So I'm going to heat up the filament, and as it gets hot enough, it will begin to burn in the air. To make bulbs, glass has to be extracted from sand. Here in the Simplot sand pits of southern Nevada, they mine over one million tons a year. Sand is the technical term used to describe rock, which has been pulverized by the ocean or other types of erosion. This cocktail of tiny grains is around 76% silica, 4% clay, and 20% other impurities. It's the silica that's needed to make clear glass for flashlight bulbs. In nature, translucent silica is seen in quartz crystals. But turning pulverized quartz back into something you can see through is an epic journey. Around 26% of this sand will become glass. Each of these trucks has enough sand to make 560,000 flashlight bulbs. To make glass, sand is mixed with a few other key ingredients. 